It's Saturday. I don't know what time it is. Tomorrow is Sunday. It's Mother's Day. I was kind of in a, a little bit of depressed mood earlier this morning. I finished my new weaving, well, as far as taking it off the loom. And then I didn't hardly know what it was going to make. And then um, I started thinking about, oh, it's Mother's Day tomorrow. And I was thinking about my mother, and it's like, I really have it had an effect, you know, she, she's been dead for about 20 years, and I thought, well, you know, I, there's not really, maybe the first three or four years after she died, I might have thought about Mother's Day, but a lot of holidays really weren't that important, really, to us, you know. Uh, probably the biggest holiday we had was Christmas, and the next one would have been 4th of July, and then the next one, would, the third one would have been Thanksgiving. And I don't know, but you know, <laughs> I'm not here to talk about that. I am, there is, let me talk about this thing in the plate. But I want to, I'm all hyped up to weave, so I have to do that. So, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a dried frog that I found out by my pond earlier this, um, earlier spring. It's like petrified or dried up. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. You know, I just rescued, well, I don't know if you would call it rescued or not. I don't even know if you can see it. I'm acting like I don't want to touch it, but it doesn't matter. But it's just uh, the skin and then it's the bones. And I, well, this is the first time I ever seen something like out, that out there. I've seen some dead frogs out there, but not, uh, this is like mummified almost, but without the wrappings. I didn't know what I was going to do with it, so I didn't throw it away right away. And I all of a sudden I got the idea, because I didn't want to do something that was disrespectful. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I, I am actually thinking about making a, like an amulet or a, a necklace type thing with it. But... Uh, um, I, I, you know, I would like to use it in a piece of art, but it's really, I don't really know of any way that I can really make a piece of art out of it without, I don't know. I mean, um, do it in a respectful manner. I don't think, I don't know. I couldn't come up with that. <laughs> Some things I can't do. But anyway, um, so uh, just now I thought, well, maybe I could make a, it wouldn't be a necklace. It would be more of a kind of like, like the Native American or a lot of other uh, races or ethnic groups of people that live culturally different than we do and have different ways of worshiping and uh, celebrating creation. And so, you know, I'm looking at it from that point of view. Because my point of view about religion or spirituality is one that encompasses just about almost everything, <laughs> actually. You know, especially if it's based in love. I mean, what can you say? You know, everybody's trying to figure it out. And most people are doing it the uh, best way they can. Oh, I don't want to hurt my frog. So, 
So after that little sermon, or whatever it was, this is real quick. I just want to let you know, I am working on my art quilts. I've been, the three pieces are put together, and there is sewing that's being done on it. I do it all by hand. I love to sew by hand. It's very relaxing. And I'm doing a good job. I'm sewing faster. I'm making smaller stitches. It doesn't hurt my fingers. I'm surprised it doesn't hurt my fingers because I have remembered that in the past if I would sew it would make my fingers hurt at night or not really at night. When I wake up the next morning, I couldn't hardly move them. And then, you know, you start doing that and they move. But I, I'm, I mean, this is going to be a long weaving thing. And what, well, you saw that this is what I made last night. And I tied the fringe on both ends. Trust me. I did. And so now I'm going to make a rug. This is the yarn that I dyed um, about two, three months ago in the kitchen. And I got, I have a sequence of, probably can't see very well, but that's kind of a greenish, that's a, so that's the sequence of the colors. I'll do about maybe four inches, who knows, you know, six inches and six inches of this, six inches of this, six inches of this, and six inches of this. And then I'll repeat it on the other side by going the opposite way. And it'd probably be maybe more eight inches. I don't know. It depends. So I just have to put these down on the floor in the order in which I'm going to weave with them. And the thread that I'm going to use, I mean, the yarn I dyed this <coughs> this is thinner and it's going to be for the beginning of the loom so I may never made a rug and videoed it before I had planned to re-thread the loom in a different way and um, weave it that way, but I think I'm just going to take the chance. I figure I should have enough confidence in my weaving ability to be able to figure out just about anything and to make something that looks good. I think I've been weaving long enough that I can do that. And if I, and if when I start weaving and, and if I see that what I am weaving doesn't live up to my expectations or I don't I can see pretty fast if something's going to be worth making or not. And I'll just stop making it and start making something else. But, uh, you know, I've been weaving for since like 1974. So, weaving to me is like, you know, Yo-Yo Ma playing the cello. I mean, he's devoted his life to it. And, you know, I guess, I, you know, to be honest, I guess I've devoted my life to weaving. Even though, you know, you see me doing different things. I've certainly been doing those different things kind of off and on. And, when I wanted to take a break from weaving, but I'm going to stop this talking. Well, I've been up and I've been down.
without this weight on it it's pretty easy to pull but this is a 20 pound weight so it's going to be good exercise for my arms <laughs> okay let me see what else is going on I guess we have to play through this ad. I'm sorry. This is the new It's okay. Thank you. 
April showers. Two, three, four. <laughs> It's ten to twelve. My wife's in bed. So it's late night and she was here.
on my telephone, but since I'm using my telephone to record this, I can't play that playlist that I made. So we just have to do this. I'm sorry. Oop. I pressed the wrong button. That's easy to do. Oh, man. Maybe I had the right thing now.
Yeah, so if you tried to attack me in my shop... Well, I use the first color that comes going to weave, and it's about six inches. I never saw so many lights. I never heard quite so many sounds. And the ponies in their lines don't seem to mind them whirling around. back and forth when I make a rug this is a well this is a different kind of boat shuttle it's shaped like a boat so but they're like stick shuttles which are different and then there's another even kind of a boat shuttle Thank you. 
said, boy, do you know her that? He's got a long, cold, hard stare. Looks like he's been crying, crying, crying. should be proud of it.
you're not too sure. Still, you want everything that I can possibly give. There's nothing left of me that is new. I lay myself down on this rocky road for you to walk on me. Am I so used to the pain? And when will I laugh again? For you, I Young, I used to run and hold. Hold the pieces of the sun till they would all listen and obey. Underneath the shady trees, I'd sit in the warm breeze and I'd teach the sparrows how to fly away. And I'd like it, yeah, and the metal swing would keep my mom from wondering if I was safe and sheltered from the cold. There was nothing out of reach, my sails were full of the wind of dreams, and I floated all the forest near my home. And as I grew in small degrees, I changed my life's philosophies, and then the red disappeared in smoke. And what was funny now seems cruel to change the rhythm and the rules, the element of truth is now the joke. That was when my search began, and into different arms I ran, and many roles I chose them to convey. And an emptiness I couldn't fill, I bent and broke under the will of everything that anyone would say. Stay, stay, stay. 